All right, everyone. So today I'm gonna do a Minecraft world tour. Now I'm gonna tour this world, uh, True Nehevering. Uh, it was my, I think it was like one of my worlds that I made back when I got into Minecraft. You know, last year, as you can see, last time I played was in October. This is probably by far my best Minecraft world I've ever done. Like this. 2019-2020, when the whole Minecraft thing just came back, was probably, like, the first time I actually seriously played survival Minecraft, and it it truly made it, like, you know, the defining mode of gameplay for me, because back in, like, 2012, when I was, like, just a, a young lad, back in the 1.0 days, you know, just the plain 1.0.0, I play a lot of creative mode and no survival mode because I thought survival mode would be too hard for me. And now, like, in this this is the first world I've ever beat the Ender Dragon in, so... Yeah, it's quite it's quite the world. I'm, I am keeping this world forever, so... Today I'm just going to tour this Minecraft world because, you know, this is part of my experimental suite of videos that I scheduled earlier this year. So yeah, let's dive in. Uh, create backup and load because I really don't want corruptions to happen. Okay, it's not responding. Okay. Take your time, Mojang application. I I don't I don't really care. So I'll just be back when the world is actually loaded, okay? All right, it appears that I am back in Old Town. Now, why do I call this Old Town? Well, this is because this is actually the first location that I actually seriously started building my base in. Uh, I'm just going to go to sleep real quick uh, just to get the, you know, monsters out and away. So, yeah, there's like this little enchanting setup in the center. There's some nice shroom light. Uh, I believe there is a shroom light farm over there by on the other side of the river. So, yeah, this is the great storage cylinder. Uh, this is my big furnace array. Uh, for some reason, I have two ender chests. Don't ask me why. And I don't. Oh, I think. Wait, is that full netherite armor? I have to. I have to check. I have to check. Um. Uh, okay, yeah, this is my Home Depot toolbox. Yep! Yep, cr another... Yep, this is my diamond leggings that I never really bothered to upgrade. And this is my backup set, just in case that gets destroyed for whatever reason. You know, the one I'm wearing. Alright, so, yeah. Just gonna go back upstairs again just to show you my my storage array here at Old Town, so... Yeah, I've, I filled it up quite a bit. Uh, the reason why there are so many mob drop chests is because across the river, there, yeah, there, there's the big mob farm that I made up there. Yeah, just And there's a little bridge there, yeah. I'm not really that proud of Old Town because I was just getting back into Minecraft and I believe one of my Discord friends decided Hey, you need help with building, so I'm going to give you some advice. And uh, yeah, Old Town is named Old Town because it's got the old building style, you know, before my Discord friend came and helped me out. Yeah, this is the inhumane cow farm where I just exploit entity crushing uh, to farm beef. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how it works. All right, just let me get... Let me get some wheat from my uh, storage room. I um, believe it is in... No, yep, it's in food. Okay. I'm just going to show you how it works for the sake of demonstration. It's pretty easy to build. You just need two cows, uh, one by one hole, some water, a hopper, and a double chest, preferably. All right. So, yeah. All you do is this, and it just works like magic. Uh, I believe there should be 24 cows in here at any given time because it's at the critical mass. So I should have 30 wheat left by now. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, and as you can see, yep, leather. That's why I made the cow farm. It's because leather. 
is quite the material that you need for bookshelves and books and enchanted tables as a consequence. Yeah, that's putting this back in the food chest. And all right, let's actually tour Old Town. So yeah, this is the exterior of the Old Town storage array. I know it's it's quite it's quite the monolith. Yeah, this this is probably the worst piece of architecture in Old Town. It's the it's the train station. Now then, because it's a train station, it has to take you somewhere. So where does this train station take you? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Yes, you can see Old Town all the way over there. That's the iron farm, you know, the one I'm punching at. Uh, yeah, this it's taking you over there. This mountain platform. Now, now then, what could this mountain platform possibly be? What could it possibly be? Okay, I might, I might have to turn down uh, the minecart sounds. I have to apologize for that. Um, let me just, uh, no, no, not video settings. Music and sounds. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna turn that down. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna turn down master volume a bit too. Yeah, yeah, apologies if you didn't hear me in that part, because the minecart is so loud. But, yeah, this is my little mini ice farm that I built in the Extreme Hills biome. Uh, the half slabs and buttons are just there to prevent mobs from spawning, uh, while not using uh, torches at all. Yeah, just FYI. Now then, let's go back. Yeah, now as you can see, look at that! Look at that gaping hole! in the window yeah this is why i consider the train station to be the worst piece of architecture in my base oh yeah the world file size by the way is actually 966 megabytes i know this because i backed it up yeah and also just in case you didn't hear me this this over there is the iron farm it's been working beautifully ever since i built it um yeah, let's get out of the train station and and actually, oh yeah, this is the this is the uh, Nether Cathedral. I actually um, built this thing over a ruined Nether portal, which is one of the new structures added in the 1.16 update. In case you've been living under a rock, yeah, I rebuilt it, repurposed it. This is actually my. Oh yeah, I have a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, so this was actually my home base for a while. You know, before I actually built that um, uh, storage cylinder over there. So yeah, this is one of my first builds here. I am very, pr I am quite proud of it, but not so proud of it because again, this is old town, and this is my old shit building style. And yeah, the, yeah, this is the iron farm. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a closer look at it. Yeah, it's been, it's been working quite nicely. That it has. I just jumped down here. It's, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. Now then, let's actually finally just to introduce Old Town a little bit more. Let's go over the last remaining structures. So this is my uh, spruce tree farm. Uh, I just cut down wood occasionally, and these are my uh, cobblestone and basalt generators. Uh, these were pretty easy to build. I I think I can remember them, you know, how to build them off the top of my head. And, uh, yeah. They have the sitting there just to stop that basalt from going off. And I think if I ever want to, you know, generate basalt or cobblestone, I just have to mine this up. And then this will start up on its own, I think. If I remember correctly. Now then, let's go across the river to the big the big mob spawner up there and also this little thing over there now what could this little thing possibly be okay but first this is the this is the another fungus farm you know um, crimson over here and warped over here of course and this thing this is the little dance floor uh, I put a jukebox over there nice little checkered floor nice little soul lantern chandelier up there. And yeah, this is where I keep all of my records. I haven't been using it that much, though. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to 
eat a little bit. And, uh, yeah. And this is my mob spotter. Now, this is gonna take a while, so, uh, yeah, just enjoy the ride while I, while I remain silent and drink a bit of water. Okay, now we're up here, so... This upside-down pyramid thing is just fancy. I decided to make it because why not? And uh, yeah, this is the killing area. It's a 3x3. Three three. Um, I believe I used an online tutorial to make this. I used online tutorials several times in this world, actually. And uh, yeah, it's almost full. This whole chest is almost full. So uh, let's let's... Let's dive down here. Oh yeah, also the drop shoot is just uh, lo long enough so that I can one-shot them, so I can uh, collect the XP from the mobs, you know. So, yeah, I just dive into the river here, just to get down from there. No biggie! I can, I can, I can do that myself. I'm not afraid, so. Now then, I guess my tour of Old Town is over, so let's actually go into the nether. To, uh, you know, actually give a tour on the rest of my base. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the nether hub tunnels just so you can uh, see them a little bit while not getting bored of me going, you know, through them all. Yeah, okay, so this is where I exit in order to, you know, enter the nether. Um, and I believe this way is my little ocean outpost, I think. And oh yeah, this is like a little portal to a village I uh, collected villages from one time. For I think it was for the iron farm. I'm pretty sure it was for the iron farm. And I think this way is to my ocean outpost. And this way, I believe, is to jungle town. Now I'm just going to walk a little bit forward just so you can see where uh, my end access portal is. So... You can, you know, see it. Oh, wait, wait, what is this? What is this? Hmm. Oh, yeah, the port. I somehow managed to make my room just large enough so that magma cubes just spawn in here naturally. That was, that was a big mistake, I admit. I admit that was a big mistake. And I think, I, I believe this was an accidental uh, construction. It was a big accident. I got coordinates to the ocean outpost wrong, and that caused me to make this tunnel. Um, and so, yeah, that's why it's there. And yep, this is my end portal. And I'll be back with you once I get to Jungle Town. Alright. Welcome back. This is Jungle Town. Now, because it's nighttime, I will obviously go to the nearest bed and sleep in it just so you know the baddies don't don't just randomly come in and destroy my base yeah so anyways we're inside my luxurious mansion right now now then let's take a tour of the bottom floor so this is a nice little dining room i built um it just serves no other purpose other than aesthetic you know, and this is the, uh, these are small storage rooms I have attached to it, I believe. Yeah, this is another storage room. Um, and this, this, yes, th oh yeah, these two are also storage rooms, so, yeah. Quite a bit of storage. And, uh, yeah, this is the entrance hallway with a nice little chandelier and a Graham from King's Quest over there, I guess. And yeah, this is my little bedroom. Um, this is a balcony garden. There is another one on the other side of this house, too. Yep, here it is. Um, and this, this is the storage room here. Um, the torches are placed strategically so that they light up the entire room. And also, yeah, this is my little pet parrot over there. Got him in the jungle, I think. I believe these two, yeah, these are just regular balconies, no gardens attached. And um, yeah, let's let's go to the other places in the 
jungle town that I have here. Now this, uh, like I said, I think I said this before, it, this is in the new building style that I am uh, much more proud of. Yeah, and this is the little exterior, as you can see. It's it's quite nice looking, if I do say so myself. It's it's not the best, especially on the roof, but it's better than nothing. All right, over there, over there, this is a, um, I believe, another big house. I believe this one is actually ro located above a zombie spawner. Yeah, this this one, this room here is in fact located above a zombie spawner and this is a an enchanting setup i have here because why not truly you can never never have enough enchanting setups all right this is the top floor another dining room i guess and this is an armor storage oh yeah this diamond armor oh man you will not believe how stoked i was when i got the diamond armor for the first first time oh this is a silk touch pickaxe too oh yeah that's sick and this is the chamber that that i kill the zombies in in order to get all this stuff yeah so it's like kill the zombies here and the loot will drop off over here um all right now let's go back to the rest of jungle town now all right, so this, as you can see, is the place where we exited out of. It's a nice little pyramid that I built, first structure I ever built in Jungle Town, actually. And this here, this is a little house I made. This contains a vine farm, I believe. Yes, yes, it does. And also a little nice balcony over here, along with some lights. And yeah, this is a little little town with a with a fountain and some nice little houses because why not um and across the river it are a few farms oh this one this th oh this jungle complex oh, i love it so much one of my proudest achievements a little nice bridge of course it's a bamboo forest as you can see there is a chorus fruit farm uh, i believe i followed a tutorial by cub fan uh, which is a I think it's a semi-automatic 20 by 20 farm, he says, but it's actually 21 by 21. D don't get that um, confused in case you're going to watch that tutorial. And uh, this is attached to, I believe, a bamboo auto smelter. Yeah, this is my bamboo powered auto smelter. Yes, the minecarts are rolling and I like it. Yeah, ignore this redstone. I was just fooling around with stuff because it was acting weird. And this this minecart is just f constantly fueling all of the furnaces in here. The top row is what the input, bottom row is the output. And this is a uh, no no bottom row is the fuel. And this is the output chest. And this took a lot of stuff to make. I'm not gonna lie. What the hell? I heard pistons. Oh. Oh wait, I believe this is another another section of the base. I believe this one here. This is a nice little room, I guess. And uh, what's going on in here? Oh, this is a mushroom and pumpkin farm. Oh yeah, I forgot about this thing. Yeah, this room is kind of empty. As is uh, this room. Not gonna lie, I should have put some more stuff in here. But hey, this one has. This base has an extra floor to it, so let's check it out. Ah, nice balcony. Right next to the chorus farm, it's pretty nice. And in here, oh, this is the cocoa beans farm, along with the little skylight over here. Mm, man. Oh, man, I like this jungle complex. One of my biggest and best architectural feats within this game. And, uh... Yeah, I believe I believe this is all that Jungle Town has to offer, actually. Not really sure what else there is. Oh yeah, this thing. This thing over there. That, I think, is a slime chunk, if I remember correctly. I used a third-party software to mark it out, and I was going to build a slime farm over there, but I abandoned this world long before that plan could 
ever come to fruition. So next time I will see you in this video, I will be giving a little tour of the ocean outpost that is unfinished. I'll see you then. All right, I am back and uh, here at the spot where I put my ocean base in. Now, as you can see, there is a there is a pretty interesting design in this room, not going to lie, but there is a room attached to this room, I believe, that who's which? Well, whose purpose? Well, I don't know who's. What, all right. So this room here has a purpose which will become apparent very soon, is what I am trying to say. Kind of proud of this. Uh, the warped uh, fungus blocks kind of... Okay, if the game's... Okay, the warped forest blocks kind of give like this illusion of, you know, ocean along with the dark prismarine, prismarine, and sea lanterns, etc. Which I'm, which I'm pretty pleased with. So yeah, let's go. Let's get in there. Let's, let's see what this ocean outpost is all about. Oh, and it's nighttime again. Uh, should really have a bed here somewhere. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, it's over there. Okay. Oh. Okay, there's wheat seeds here, apparently. Okay, let's sleep. Let's sleep the night quickly. Now then, like I said before, this ocean outpost is unfinished. And, man, it shows. It show. It's showing already. Like, look at this thing. Look at this thing I was planning out. Like, holy hell. This is gonna be a big house, I believe, or some or something. Then there's like this little terracotta structure here in the middle. I believe I mined out quite a bit of mesa in order to get that. But remember that room I showed you way back in the well, I say way back in the other, but yep, you see that structure over there. We're gonna to get to it. All right, let's take out. Um, uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna put in e-chest over here because I can I guess uh, where should I where should I put it actually yeah, I think right here is a convenient place uh, let's take out my Home Depot toolbox tool toolbox I should say uh, Air Force One um, that is my elytra name don't ask me why um, let's put this in here and let's take out Let's take out some of my fireworks that I happen to possess. All right. And let's go. Let's go to that little structure in the sky. Uh, okay, where is... Okay, there. Now, remember that room in the nether? Well, this is actually a guardian farm that exploits nether portal mechanics in order to work... Now, oh yeah, they're coming in. All right, let's let's see. Um, I believe we can actually see the, some of the guardians uh, entering the Nether if we're fast enough. Uh, let's let's try to see them. Let's try to see them. All right, all right, and let's put my crab shirt on because conservation of fuel uh, or durability I should say not fuel all right let's go let's see yep yep you see you see that that that's guardians dying and this these chests collect uh, prismarine materials so that was the purpose of that room that's just where the guardians entered in I actually yeah yeah the portals this portal here corresponds to where the temple is just getting my nether cords right because otherwise they would have gone in here which would be less than ideal to put it one way now let's just just putting back my thing in here yeah. and I believe using this uh, guardian farm I I have uh, made this entire shulker box filled with uh, with just cooked cod from all the guardian kills and holy hell that's that's a lot. That is a lot of fucking sea lanterns. Just goes to show how good of a light source they are, both in looks and in, uh... Oh shit, I forgot. And in, um, let's just say, I don't know. Execution? I don't know. Utility. Probably is the closest word. 
to what I'm trying to think of. So, I guess that is the end of this Minecraft World Tour. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, have a nice day!